Today we are reading Happy Birthday with Ann and B. And Tut is also going to listen to our story. Happy Birthday with Ann and B by Angela Banner, originally published in 1964 with illustrations by Brian Ward. One day, Ant and B were flying about in the air together when they heard a lovely noise. The lovely noise was coming out of a home. B said the noise was party noise. Ant and B went to watch the party. They knew it was a birthday party because there was a birthday cake with candles. After the birthday party food, there were games and lots of prizes for everyone. Then suddenly, it was time for everyone to go home. Aunt and Bee were sorry the party was over. It had been such fun to watch. So Aunt and Bee flew around looking for another birthday party. But there were no more birthday parties anywhere. Then Bee said they must find out if any of their friends would be having a birthday party soon. But their friend the zoo man said he was not having a birthday party for a long, long time. And the zoo man's wife and their five children were not having birthdays for a long, long time. And none of their animal friends in the zoo were having a birthday for a long, long time. No one was having a birthday soon. But then Aunt and Bee asked Kind Dog if he was having a birthday soon. Kind Dog said he did not know when his birthday was. So Aunt and Bee said Kind Dog could pretend his birthday was soon. Aunt and Bee told everyone that Kind Dog was going to have a birthday party soon. B got a book from his library, and the book was all about birthdays. The book said that there were seven birthday things to do before a birthday party. B said that if they did one birthday thing on every day, then Kind Dog would have his birthday party after seven days. So on the day called Sunday, B said they must write out all the birthday party invitations. And on that day called Sunday, Aunt gave birthday party invitations to, and on that same Sunday, B gave birthday party invitations to, and on that same Sunday, Kind Dog took birthday party invitations to, Aunt and B and Kind Dog had a very, very busy Sunday making and giving out lots and lots of party invitations. The next day was Monday. B said they must talk secretly about what birthday presents to give kind dog. But on the day called Monday, everyone began to quarrel about what birthday presents to give kind dog. The walrus said the best present for kind dog was a nice fat fish. But the elephant said it would be better to give kind dog a muffin. The cat said they should give kind dog a saucer of milk. The horse said they ought to give kind dog a juicy carrot. But the monkey said that the very best present for kind dog would be lots of yellow bananas. Ant and Bee were quite muddled by all the different animals wanting to give kind dog such different presents. So at last, on the day called Monday, Ant and Bee told everyone that they would ask all their dog friends what they thought would be the very nicest present to give kind dog on his birthday. So then on Monday, Ant and Bee told the zoo man what all their dog friends had said. And the zoo man said he would make the present that all the other dogs said kind dog would like best. And all that day of Monday, Kind Dog sat in his kennel, trying to guess what presents he would be given for his birthday. Can you guess what would be the very best present for Kind Dog? 
The next day was Tuesday. B said they must think about what games to play at Kind Dog's birthday party. Ant said he liked hide and seek best. Can you see where Ant is hiding? So on the day called Tuesday, Ant and B and Kind Dog talked and thought all day about birthday party games. Ant and B said they would play the party games near the zoo bandstand because the band would make music for the party. And on that Tuesday, Ant and B and Kind Dog thought about how children liked musical chairs. Also on Tuesday, Ant and B told Kind Dog that the zoo man could help them play blind man's buff. And on that same Tuesday, Kind Dog told Ant and B that at his birthday party, they would play tug of war. Then on that same Tuesday, B said they must remember that monkeys love to play ring of rosies and everyone loved ball games. Ant and B and Kind Dog had a very happy Tuesday thinking about party games. The next day was Wednesday. B read in his book that every birthday party should have a birthday cake with candles. B said Kind Dog should have a candle for every year of his age. But Kind Dog did not know how old he was. So Kind Dog said he would pretend that he would be four years old on his birthday so that he could have four candles on his birthday cake. But Kind Dog said he did not like sweet cake. So on Wednesday, Ant and Bee made Kind Dog a birthday cake out of dog biscuits by sticking the biscuits together with sandwich filling. All day on that Wednesday, Ant and Bee enjoyed making the birthday cake for Kind Dog. And on the day called Wednesday, Ant and Bee put little cupcakes on top of the birthday cake for all those who did not like to eat dog biscuits. On that same Wednesday, Ant and Bee talked to the zoo man's wife about the birthday food. She said she would get the party food ready and keep it safely inside a big zoo tent. The zoo man's wife told them there would be sandwiches and ices and chocolates and drinks and buns and pies. Ant and B liked that day called Wednesday very much. The next day was Thursday. B said they must get all sorts of things ready for the birthday party. Things like party hats and prizes and balloons. So on Thursday, the zoo man blew up lots of balloons. Look at Ant and B. And on that same day called Thursday, the zoo man and Ant and B made some hidden treasure for the birthday party. Then they began to wrap up prizes for the party games. But as Thursday was nearly over, Ant and B suddenly remembered that the birthday party should have a magician and a film show. Thursday was such an exciting day that Ant and Bee and Kind Dog went to sleep early. The next day was Friday. Bee said that on this day, they must all get their party clothes ready. So all that day of Friday, everyone got their party clothes ready. The zoo man's wife bought a new hat to wear at the party. And on Friday, the zoo man's children got their clothes ready for the party. On the day called Friday, Ant and Bee dusted and polished Kind Dog's best collar. And on the day called Friday, Ant and Bee bought themselves two new ties. Now on this day called Friday, Everyone began to get very, very excited, for Kind Dog's birthday party was on the very next day. The very next day was Saturday. This was Kind Dog's birthday. 
Ant and Bee went to sing the happy birthday song to Kind Dog. Then on that day called Saturday, the postman brought lots and lots of happy birthday cards and letters for Kind Dog. And on the morning of that day called Saturday, Kind Dog's friends brought him lots and lots of birthday presents. The zoo man is carrying the biggest present. Can you guess what it is? Kind Dog's best present was a new kennel. And on that day called Saturday, Kind Dog was very happy because he had such lovely presents. Here are some of the presents Kind Dog's friends gave him on his birthday on that day called Saturday. Also on that birthday Saturday, Kind Dog was given. Soon, on the day called Saturday, it was time for the birthday party. Ant and Bee and Kind Dog got ready to go. Then, on the day called Saturday, off went everyone to Kind Dog's birthday party. And they all had a lovely time. The end. Thank you for listening to our story. And thank you, Robert, for filming the story.